Okay. Yes. So if we could just start briefly, um, do you mind um, just introducing yourself and saying what you do? Okay. My name is um, Ali Kupurela. I'm into painting. I'm an artist. So I study painting. So I do more of realistic and um, contemporary um, painting. An abstract. An abstract. Okay. Now, yeah. if we just um, dive into it and get into the conversation, um, what was your what was your childhood like? What was your upbringing like? Um, <laughs> and how did it lead you into painting? Um, actually, um, the way I was brought up, I was not brought up as rich <laughs> as a big child, you understand? So, I I started painting since when I was in primary school. So, I do draw in school, painting school. So, later on, I just like felt like, okay, I don't know anything much better than painting and drawing. So, why don't I just study painting? Instead of me pushing around the like so that's how I started and I end up um, thinking and doing other things. Yeah. What was what was the response for you from from your parents? You know, um, were they happy? I thought, <laughs> I, no, no. My parents was not against it. They're in support of my painting. Like they're in support of my career. Like me choosing painting. Okay. So I don't have any issue with family or any other person. So they even help me with the schooling stuff. Like, okay, you just have to learn more and keep it up. Yeah. Oh, that, that's nice because so many, um, you know, especially African parents, they, they can be not um, supportive of their kids, you know, um, pursuing a creative career or anything in the arts. Yeah. Like, that's really nice that they they kind of stood behind you and uh, gave you gave you support. What would you what would you like to be classified as an artist or a painter? What do you prefer? I prefer an artist. You prefer an artist. Why? Why yeah. so? Uh, a painter. It has categories like it. There are wall paintings. Like you have some artists that paint wall. Like they go for mural paintings. Well, hi, I'm an artist. I paint figures and nature painting. So I do more of that. It's not that I don't paint wall painting also. So, but I specialize on painting like figure painting, abstract painting, and some other things. Yeah. Out of those. So, as an, Carry on. so as an artist, it's not just the painting. We have some other things that we do too. So apart from painting, so um, we do um, sculpture work. We have sculptors, and we have ceramic students, textile, so some other things. But I specialize in painting. Like that's what I study. Painting is just like what you study in school. So if I go out there when I'm through with my when I'm done with my school, I call myself as an artist, not a painter, an artist. If the more you practice, the more you improve. The more you the more you explore so practicing is okay and studying it's not just the practical aspect also theory aspect reading and making research mm -hmm. so the more you paint the more you the more the more you improve in your painting the more you you get an idea more ideas sure you understand me like now let me just give an example like someone that I started painting now. I now left painting for like two years or four years. The way I paint, if I carry a brush for that four years, the way I will paint will be different because I don't paint consistently. I don't paint every time for me to improve myself, for me to develop myself. So it's going to affect. So it's better for an artist to keep on painting. The price, the cost of of um of um your materials your brushes your paints all that stuff does it does it weigh heavy on you yeah it is because they are all expensive mm. those materials most especially the colors so they are all expensive as a student i'm still struggling to get material all because of 
the materials are expensive, much more expensive. So we do get um, like oil colonel, we get like 4,000 naira for each two. So mm-hmm. now just think about it, you get things like 12 different colors, 4,000 naira. So it's not that easy. Mm. Not that easy. So yeah, I 4K can't... for two. Wow. Wow. Even sometimes my parents do complain like, ah, we gave you 50,000 naira, see what you bought. You get so they are like, ah, so is this how it's expensive? And to get those money, mm. so most of most students go outside to work for the money. Mm-hmm. Wow, and before you even <laughs> so that's how it is, it's not easy. Mm. I can't lie, that one just hit me. Yeah, the what 4K for one? How big is the tube? Yeah, so I have one here. And just one, this just one color. He's just one color. He's white. Mm. I'm, I'm moved by that. Like I'm touched. Like I'm almost in. Wow. Yeah. So, what makes you want to persevere in this? You know, like if, if you're spending fifty thousand just to have your colors, just to begin painting, like. At first, it's not just money. The reason why I paint is not just the money, but it's the money also. But it's not just the money. It's because of something I love to get. Mm. And something I have passion for, like, I really want to do. I'm always happy doing it. So I'm comfortable doing it. So the money, that's why I, I don't really get attracted with the money. I don't really get with the money because um, with what I do, with what I enjoy, with what I love, give me happiness so why don't i just keep on pushing it instead of going for something if i okay if i go for maybe this side me now not choosing what i want it's going to affect me because i won't focus you know a lot of our parents had to yeah, do sure. things that they their parents looked at them like you know you know imagine 26 years ago our parents saying they wanted to go into computer at that time their parents would have been like, oh. <laughs> they even they, they even prefer doctor than at the end. <laughs> but now it's like their eyes like they are, they are now seeing things like it's like artists too they have their own yeah um, they have their own passion too, and it's not just about the money and art is beautiful so they are now seeing they even help their children now like because then they're like Instead of you going for an artist, what's that? It's not just to draw, it's not just to paint. <laughs> so they them pay for doctor or going for lawyer, all this you get. Yeah. So now, but the art is now moving now. I think it's moving for me fantastic and excellent way. Like, they are really. And here in Nigeria, they don't they don't really appreciate art. That's what is affecting us. So mm. they, they, they see art in a way like it's something easy which they don't understand that it's, it's not easy so they, they don't really appreciate it as way. like to buy it is difficult for them because if they hear the price they're like ah this is small thing she gets small thing why am i buying it instead of me buying it let me just go for something so they don't really appreciate it. and they don't even help us in a way like okay these people they are well talented if they are talented let us just come fishing them and help them okay the creative side has always been frowned upon, almost looking as if like we're stupid, like, ah, you know, this one wants to get into videography, mm, cameraman, you know what I mean? And then down the line, you're doing the biggest videos in the country, you're, you know, up until they start celebrating you elsewhere, you know? So I think, yeah, I agree with you. It's a problem with our whole system, our whole system. And people like us who are creative, it takes a lot of mental strength to just keep doing what we're doing. Because the society there does not encourage us, mm. huh. you know, it doesn't it doesn't encourage. Yes, us. So, yes, so, so where would you say Nigerian and African art is at the moment? They now focus on it now. They now see that this art is a is a good like is a well good job and is a well good um is a beautification to the environment. She gets so now. The way the art association are, they are really helping us to encourage us to push more. And even that, apart from that, they do more as, of exhibition now. They do more of exhibition, they do competition. So just to help us in a way to support us, like they'll put money, like okay, 
money involved like okay apply for this thing any anybody that um take the first or the second we have a price so they are using that to support us and apart from that um most outsiders are coming in instead of we going out to go and show off our paintings so they are coming in to buy our works and so on share everything is going well now okay. i think i'm really getting more interested in it and more happy that okay yeah mm-hmm. i know where i'm going to like there will be a good result in it you do have a lot of political um paintings like the one behind you with the unite the face of the united kingdom you know and then the african man um do you okay. have yes do you have yes this one yes i saw it on your instagram do you have a um oh. you have a love for history or what's what's your relation between um history and art art and politics what do you feel about that yeah what the yeah. At first, I started with reality. So, when I started with reality in school, you know, we have to do more of reality. So, I started with that. Later on, I have to specialize on my own side of it. So, I just have to put myself down like, okay, what will make me be unique to the society and be unique from um, the other painters around me? So, I just have to put myself down and like, okay, what can I do? So later on, I moved into abstract because I fell in love with, okay, um, why don't I use the face as the map, as an identity of the figure and the So that's when I started using this Nigerian flag, the color for the face, and using a um, leaf line for the body. This abstract, I call it semi abstract. So from there, like my painting, we need to keep like a mental force of what is happening in the society or around me or in any country. So I don't really base on the Nigerian story alone. So so I started with this colonialism. This was when the British and then this was when the British came to Nigeria. So this is like a mental force of how slavery started. So you can see, like, he's holding a pen, the Nigerian man is holding a pen, while the British man is holding, like, telling him to sign. So that signature really means, like, me putting that signature on paper is, like, a mental for, like, and, uh, like, a mental for to make people understand, like, okay, this is how we were forced, like, okay, this is how we were forced when this came in, like, they capture us, like, and we have to submit it whatever they have to change it. And later on, I move to You can see, I have a Yoruba man here, dressed to Agbada, and an Aousa man, and Igbo man. So this represents the Nigerian tribe, and this is British. This is when we have the independence. So, mm-hmm. they have to stand down. So my painting really is like to speak on what yeah. happens in the environment and the face is an I like to as an identity of the figure I'm painting. So that's what my painting is all about. There's no mood that is bad for face. Even the bad mood, when you are in a bad mood, it's go on your canvas, bring out something. It bring out like peace. It's like you putting yourself. How you feel whenever you carry your clothes? Like if you're happy, reflect on your canvas. Do you understand enough? So if you are sad, if you're in a sad mood, you also reflect your canvas. So whenever I'm in a sad mood, I don't just excuse myself for painting like this. I don't. Want to. That mood, I'll carry it on my canvas and try to bring out something. So it shows how I feel. I think our I feel on the canvas whenever I'm back. And how how many girls are there in your in your um in your class? Um we have three girls in my class. Out of how many? Three, three out of how many? Um we are eighteen in 
class. Wow. Yeah, I think so they have to be guilty. Of that. Mm. How, how do you feel about that, women in 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 this field? Like, do you feel like they're not encouraged enough, or is it just something that maybe women aren't interested in? I'm even happy they are with me. I'm even happy that I'm having female or that female like me. But it's like a challenge. Like, okay, so I have someone to buckle up with. Like, okay, push myself. Okay, these people are around me. I have to, and it really show how weak I am, if I'm good or if I'm bad, if I'm beating all the time. So through them, like a challenge, like having a challenge with them. They might not know it's what I'm saying this because I'm saying it on my own right. Because if they are doing better, I'll be more like ah, so you really need to work on yourself. Be a female like you do. So it's really making me keep on pushing. Because if we don't have female in my class at all, and I'm having male, I'll be feeling comfortable. Like today I'm a female, yet I won't be able to push myself. But because I have female around me now, and they are also pushing me. They are even helping me. Who are you listening to at the moment? Music. Music. Yeah. Adele. Adele. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. wow. How come? What about Adele? Do you like? Um, never mind. I find someone like you. Um. Um. That that is the song I love. Did, did, did you did you go through a heartbreak that made you um connect to Adele? Oh no! <laughs> you touched on a nerve there, three. <laughs> then it was yes, but now no. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're so we, when you hear it, you start feeling some type of way. Yeah, I think I think we covered a yeah, lot. I think it's been um, a great convo. You you just got me in the mood to paint now, though. You got me in the mood to paint. I just want to pick up a brush. <laughs> That's it now. That's what I want. Yeah, exactly. Especially yeah. seeing all the paintings behind you and everything, and. You know, it just, yeah, it makes me want to just take a brush to but, canvas. But I just want to keep encouraging you to keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're making great work. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, as, as a creative, as an artist, we understand how tough it gets sometimes. You know, we understand um, how, 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 how we always have to remind ourselves why we're doing what we're doing. And um, I just want to keep encouraging you. And uh, yeah, just to tell you that um, we love your work and uh, we hope to see you soon. Yeah. And um, keep, keep it going, man. Keep it going. Nick, a round of applause. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time. The Alternative Network.